Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab, and I'm here today with Harry from Fox ESS. Harry, you've got a lot of products here. Are you going to tell me about them? Yeah, sure. We have a variety of products, single phase, three phase, and batteries. Let's start from here. Okay, let's do it. So Harry, this is the single phase hybrid inverter? Yes, this is our single phase hybrid inverter for the uh, Australian market. It ranges from three to six kilowatt. It has two MPPTs and it's compatible with our ECS batteries. Are these uh, high voltage batteries? Yeah, they are uh, high voltage batteries and then they are connected in series. So you can stack up to seven modules in total. What sort of capacity would you get? We are promoting two different capacities in Australia. The smaller one is 2.9 kilowatt hour per module. The bigger one is 4.8 kilowatt hour per module. So if we are using the 2.9 kilowatt hour per module, the biggest capacity will be around 20 kilowatt hours. And if we are using the 4.8 kilowatt hour modules, the biggest capacity would be around 43 uh, kilowatt hours. Wow, that's a lot. Cool. Now, it has a EPS functionality. Yes, the inverter has the EPS output and then that will go into the EPS box and then that will fulfill our EPS functionalities. Right. Now, you've got my second most favorite thing over here, which is an EVSE, electric vehicle supply equipment or what people call an EV charger. Tell me about this. So we have three different uh, EV chargers here. And the first one is 10.3 kilowatts and this Second one is 11 kilowatts, and the third one is 22 kilowatts. And they are all single phase. In uh, the, for the 22 kilowatts, we have the single part options or the dual part options as well. So for the dual part options, each part will be 11 kilowatts. So the total will be 22 kilowatts. So you could charge two cars at once. Yes, this, the, uh, the, two, uh, the dual part options is mostly for the commercial parking so that you can charge two cars at once. Right, cool. Now, what else have we got here? So on this side, we have all the uh, grid tie inverters. Yes. And starting from the F series is the uh, single phase from three to single phase uh, solar inverters ranging from three to six kilowatts. And next we have the uh, G series, which is a little bit bigger than the F series. The uh, volt, uh, the output range is from 7 to 10.5 kilowatt. I noticed that you've got uh, two MPPTs on the F series, but three MPPTs on the G series. Correct. So um, because the uh, nominal output is a little bit higher, so we tend to accept more solar uh, input to for the systems. So that's why this one has three MPPTs. Right. Now, does the three phase, it's got four connections. Is it four MPPTs? Yes, so really? for this uh, third generation of the T-Series, we increased to four MPPTs so that we, are we can accommodate different size of the roofs for solar allocations. So this uh, three-phase inverter is our prime uh, products for the uh, solar connections, and they are from three to 25 kilowatts. So the, the wide range of the uh, nominal output will be flexible for every different applications. Now you do really big inverters too. Yes. Just check them out. Okay. So on the other side, we have the uh, biggest solar inverters, three phase. It's going up all the way up to 110 kilowatts. It has up to 10 MPPTs. So each MPPT has two strings. Together, it can take up to 22 strings of the uh, PV inputs. Wow, huge. And it's got four DC isolators. Yes. Cool. I imagine you've got some clever software for things like fault detection within the inverter. Yeah, we got the PID recovery and we also have the uh, AFCI functions so we can prevent some art fault. So art fault detection? Yes. Oh, that's, that's really useful. Cool. So tell me about this inverter. So this is our smaller three-phase hybrid inverters and it can also work with the, uh, ba the ECS battery just like the uh, single-phase hybrid inverter. And this three-phase hybrid inverter has two MPPTs. Its uh, nominal output ranges from 5 to 12 kilowatts. Right. Now, I think you've got one of my favorite uh, items here, which is an all-in-one solution, because installers love all-in-one hybrid systems. Shall we check it out? Yes. So this is our all-in-one solutions from Fox ESS. It, it has both hybrid and AC applications. 
And on top of that is the uh, inverter sections. So the inverter can go all the way up to six kilowatt. And the bottom part is the battery sections. And uh, with the battery capacity can go up to 10.2 kilowatt hours. However, if you want a smaller battery in output, you can just put 5.2 or even 7.8 kilowatt hour into it. Now, it looks like it's freestanding, it's bolted to the ground. Yes, so it provides a better security and uh, it's not gonna tip over. Is this, uh, what's the IP rating of this unit? Ah, uh, this is IP65. Right, all right, so this can go outside sit on the ground, uh, doesn't need to be mounted on a wall. So probably a pretty quick installation. Yeah, definitely. A lot of installers, they uh, tend to look for the Orion product is because the quick installation. So with the uh, ground mount uh, option here and the uh, quick uh, battery installation mechanism on the site, this Orion one product can be installed pretty quickly. Right. Now I can see another hybrid here. Tell me about this hybrid. So this is our latest product. It is the um, biggest three-phase inverters we have. It ranges from 10 all the way up to 30 kilowatts. So not only can it meet the rest, like a large residential application, it can also fit into some commercial and industrial applications. Wow. And with the same high voltage battery stacks that we use with the, uh, the single phase units? Yes, so for the, uh, in order to work with the uh, high power inverters, we specifically roll out the uh, 4.8 kilowatt hour batteries just to work with them. So with a uh, 30 kilowatt inverters, we can promote a 43 kilowatt hour battery to work with it. Wow, let's go around the corner here. I see you've got uh, some other units here. These two are the uh, single phase inverters, hybrid inverters, and then this one is the, the same as we first introduced, the uh, 3 to 6 kilowatt H1 G2 and AC1 G2. It can also fit into a hybrid and AC couple applications. It has two MPPTs, and um, it can work with the uh, ECS battery just like uh, any other hybrid inverters. Great. Now, these are the batteries in the all-in-one unit, I believe? Yes, so um, these are the batteries for the all-in-one units. Each one, each module is 2.6 kilowatt hours. So the all-in-one unit can take up to four uh, batteries. But minimum, you need two batteries to start the all-in-one units. So Harry, lastly, we've got the K-series. So this K-series is also a single-phase hybrid inverter, but it's a little bit bigger than the H1 series on the other side. So this one is from 7 to 10.5 kilowatts. It also features hybrid and AC couple applications, and uh, it has three to four MPPTs. So if you are working with seven or eight kilowatts, it has three MPPTs. So if you are working with nine, 10, and 10.5 kilowatts, it has four MPPTs. So it gives you more flexibility in different applications. And once again, you've got a choice of the stackable batteries. Yes, yeah, this one can work with the 2.9 kilowatt hour and 4.8 kilowatt hour batteries. Great. Thanks very much. No, thank you.